Good morning, good life. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Absolutely beautiful outside and I am getting ready. This is a day I've been waiting for for a little bit too long, but for you, it is the reveal of my cover. And for me, it is the photo shoot to reveal my cover. <laughs> I can't just post a random picture of my book. You know, I work so hard on it. So I had to call my photographer, Emma, to come to my house the moment I got the book. I was like, I'll see you tomorrow at morning at 10.30, right? You're not busy, you can do that, right? You can just come, please, get, get, pl could you just get here, please? She's like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yes, now that I have the book, I'm very excited. Slight bummer. I was planning on doing the shoot with the planner. The entire plan has been to have the planner out on the same day that the book comes out, but Amazon's giving us a little bit of a hard time about it, so I don't know if that's gonna end up panning out. I'm fairly certain it'll be out this month, but I don't know if it's gonna be out on the 10th. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So today, the shoot is just me and my book, and so I'm gonna get ready right now for that, and then I'll show you what the book looks like before Emma gets here, because I honestly just cannot wait. I feel like it's not official until I have posted it on YouTube. It's really not really official until it's on YouTube, so we need to hurry up and get it on YouTube. That's all I have to say about that. Doing a photo shoot and I've got zits, honey. Well, hello. <laughs> oh my God, this office is a mess. Okay, so this is my new favorite jacket at the moment. I'm probably gonna be wearing this a couple times in the vlog this month. I got this recommendation from my friend Brickalista. She had this on at an event I was at recently and um, I bought one for myself. Actually, I'll be telling you about that event very, very soon. I wanted something kind of neutral. I want the book to stand out, but I also wanna be dressed to impress like I typically do. And so yeah, I might throw some heels on. Girl is white today. No spray tan recently. It's kind of hurting my feelings a little bit, but it's fine. So that's that situation. Let's get on to why you're actually watching this video. Mm -hmm. Very bright light. Sorry about that. Very run and gun at the moment, okay? <sighs> All right. Before I display this lovely little product of mine. I want to say that it was a tough decision to come to. There was a lot of back and forth about what should be on the cover and what was important to me was being able to display something that I felt could accurately depict what good morning, good life means to more than just one person. Because the entire point of the book is that you figure out what your morning looks like and it shouldn't be exactly what mine is or exactly what someone else's is you might be able to pick pieces and parts of things that work for people and then form your own but it has to fit in your life so you know we were kind of like oh well if we do a hotel shoot how should it look should i be like sitting in a bathrobe on a bed or something like with my makeup perfectly done and i was just like that completely defeats the purpose of this book you know it's like showing something that's not realistic it could be appealing from a consumer standpoint but i wanted to speak to how i'm actually presenting the content so the more we went back and forth about that i was like well it's really really tough to say what i might look like on this cover and how that might help somebody make the decision that this this is a good book for them. So after a lot of discussion with friends and colleagues and my team and myself and my husband and pretty much everybody I know, this is what we ended up with. I love it so much. I think it actually perfectly depicts me without my face on it, right? I mean, who needs my face in yet another spot? It's like all you need to know about me is what this cover looks like. A little bit of pink, a little bit of black, and lemon. At least one lemon a day. I really think that this is something that could speak to more than just somebody who knows who I am, which is what I'm hoping for. I wrote this for you, but at the same time, if you recommended it to someone and said, hey, you know, maybe you could approach your mornings a little bit differently, I feel like this is a cover that would make them feel comfortable to and, and, and approach it more relatably. But don't worry, we didn't take photos for no reason. I am on the back of the book. There's a little bit of a blurb there, a little, little note from me. Yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. 
pretty simple. But yeah, I think when we finally landed on this and it was just like, gotta get the lemon color just right, gotta get the pink color just right, gotta get the binding just right, you know. You guys know how I never show bindings <laughs> on my bookshelf, but if it's my book, I do. I'm just kidding, that's so mean. But the reality is it's because my books are white. I just like white pages, y'all. Everybody's still picking me apart because I don't have my bindings out the right way. I just know where the books are, okay? I just know. So this is the book. This is the cover of the book. I am so happy with it. I think the inside looks even better than my first one. Homework assignments for you in there because I know, you know, I know about the practicality of things right? Some really cool people shared their good morning stories. So much good stuff in this book. I'm so excited for you to get your hands on it. I'm so excited to have my hands on it. Oh my God, what a process. Anyway, so I really hope that you like it. I hope that it's something that you feel like you could be really proud of if it was out on your coffee table, if it's on your bookshelf, if it's on your Instagram feed, whatever the case may be for you. Oh my gosh, it's finally out there. I'm just like so glad, so glad. If you're wondering who did this incredible design, who did the back, who did the inside, how they made it look so good. I have to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video. If not for them, I really don't think I would have something that I'm so proud of. And I really mean that. It's so hard when you are not necessarily of a design mind and you need something to look beautiful. You need to take an idea that's in your head and put it down into real life. It's so hard and you really wanna work with great designers who can help to make that happen. And that is why I worked with 99designs on my book for a second time. They've also helped me with my podcast artwork for detailed therapy. They're just such talented designers with 99designs and it's much more accessible in a lot of cases for people who are trying to do something on a bootstrapping budget. And I don't know about you, but any small business is on a bootstrapping budget. <laughs> myself included. The cool thing is that you can actually choose a couple of different of uh, approaches. You can actually run a contest to see who's gonna be the best fit for you. So the designers will typically create their preliminary ideas and when you're leaning towards something, you can even have your community help you vote on some things. When you're leaning towards someone, you can choose them for the job and then fine tune and finalize whatever project you're working on, whether it's podcast artwork or a book cover. And so you can do something like that or you can simply point out a designer that you really like on the platform and say, I wanna work with you and work with them one-on-one. -on -one. So there's a number of different options you can do. I've done the contest both times because even though I have ideas in my head, it's still very hard for me to articulate them. So I like to see who's jamming with me by saying like, here's what I'm thinking, show me what you can, kind of, can come up with. You have to give people room to really not have exactly the right thing right away and realize that people are not gonna have what's in your mind right away. But if you can start to feel a vibe with somebody and move in that direction, that's what I really like about 99designs. Just so you know, 99designs Science is the world's largest creative platform that connects people and businesses with graphic designers and creatives. There's actually over 90 different categories of things that you can work on with these designers, whether it's a logo or a website or anything else. And so I highly recommend them and I want you to get a little bit of a savings on your first design because I believe in what they're doing so much. Head to the link in the description below to get $20 off your first design and please let me know if you ended up using them or what you decided to use 99designs for in the comments comments if you're thinking about it or if you jump right in because oh my goodness it's amazing what they can do to take your idea and put it out there into the world and make you feel like it's real for the first time look how real this is by the way the number of times I had to go back to my designer and be like oh my god I messed up can you please fix it <laughs> yeah they can fix it every time. So it's really been so, such an enjoyable process and I just, I can't recommend them enough. So thank you 99designs for supporting Good Morning Good Life, for being a part of this project, for helping me get this done and for making it something that I can truly be so proud of. So Emma is gonna be here shortly and we're gonna do a little photo sesh. Maybe still a little bit in my chair. Get it, right? I'm very excited right now. Mm. Uh -huh. So happy. City life, my friends. City life. Okay, we did it. 
The book is now out into the world. I'm gonna post on my Instagram. It's a whole thing now. I still have so much to do, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it's like the super high, like right now it's a super high, right? It's like it's here, it's done, it's beautiful. I'm so happy with it and the feelings just ebb and flow. Until this thing is fully flying, I just feel like I'm constantly in prep mode and launch mode and I have to keep reminding myself to keep following my own advice. Embrace the win, feel the moment. Okay, I will at some point, but geez, this is a process. <laughs> I have to do an interview now. I've got a lot of stuff to come. So much more Vlogmas to come. <sighs> That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, make sure you subscribe for good vibes and kiss the ones you love and go after the life that you want. Cheers. So pretty. Hey, are you struggling to find time for the things you love? Feel like you're constantly on the go, but taking care of everyone else first? You are not alone, and you deserve so much more. Not only are you capable of taking on this challenge, you already have all the tools it takes to make it happen. That resourcefulness is all you need to get activated by your new daily mantra. Good morning, good life. It's my new book, and it launches on Amazon on December 10th. More details at goodmorninggoodlife.com. I knew I forgot something. Get it. <laughs>